Get your backpacks mess kit and your Indiana Jones hat ready, because we're embarking on an unparalleled global tour. If you have a fondness for the unusual, extraordinary, and enigmatic, get ready for an exciting adventure. Buckle up as we embark on a journey to explore islands that conceal themselves in secrecy and tell fascinating stories of the peculiar and marvelous. Are you intrigued? Come along as we discover the 20 most enigmatic islands on our planet. Number 1. The Hebrides, Scotland Get ready to embrace Scottish culture by wearing tartans and playing bagpipes because we're embarking on a journey to the windy shores of the Hebrides. This group of islands, located on the western coast of mainland Scotland, is characterized by lush green hills, rugged cliffs, and an abundance of sheep. However, let's be honest, the sheep aren't the main attraction here. The Hebrides are steeped in Celtic mythology and folklore, dating back to the time when ancient Celts inhabited these islands. Legends of Selkies, water spirits called Kelpies, and fairies abound. If you've ever wondered about the origins of the fantastical creatures in your favorite fantasy novels, this may be the place. One notable feature of the Hebrides is the Callanish Stones on the Isle of Lewis. These enigmatic stone formations, located on a hill overlooking a lake, predate even the pyramids of Egypt and Stonehenge. The purpose of these stones remains a mystery, with various theories suggesting they may have served as a calendar system, a place of worship, or even a form of prehistoric art. Another must-visit location is Fingal's Cave on the uninhabited island of Staffa. With its unique acoustics and hexagonal basalt columns, this cave has inspired numerous artists and musicians, including the renowned band Pink Floyd. Whether it's the ancient folklore, the dramatic landscapes, or the allure of the untamed wilderness, a visit to the Hebrides transports you to a world where the possibility of magic feels tangible. Number 2. The Tristan da Cunha, British Overseas Territory We will now set our compasses towards the central part of the South Atlantic Ocean in search of Tristan da Cunha, the world's most isolated inhabited island. If you think your long-distance relationship is difficult, imagine living on this island. It has only one settlement called Edinburgh of the Seven Seas, which is home to approximately 250 residents. However, there's a catch. You can't simply decide to move there. To become a resident, you must apply to the Island Council, making it the most exclusive club on Earth. Tristan da Cunha, an active volcanic island, experienced its most recent eruption in 1961. During that time, the islanders had to evacuate to England, but the majority returned by 1963. Despite its remote location, the island boasts amenities such as a school, hospital, post office, and even an internet cafe. Nevertheless, with the closest mainland being over 2,800 kilometers away in South Africa, you might want to reconsider complaining about your commute. Number 3. Socotra, Yemen Moving from a somber reminder of our impact on the planet, we now turn our attention to something more uplifting, the island of Socotra located near Yemen's coast. Widely regarded as the most peculiar-looking place on Earth, Socotra may make you question whether you've unintentionally been transported to another celestial body. The island's extraordinary ecological diversity is truly astonishing. Approximately one-third of the plant and animal species here cannot be found anywhere else on the planet. Among these distinct creatures is the island's most iconic resident, the dragon's blood tree, resembling an inverted umbrella, and the desert rose, with its trunk resembling an elephant's leg. Curious about how this came to be? The island's combination of extreme heat and scarcity of water has resulted in the evolution of these extraordinary life forms. Such unusual adaptations entice both scientists and inquisitive travelers, assuming they can bear the scorching climate. Socotra serves as nature's personal experimental laboratory, adhering to its own guidelines, defying normalcy, and leaving us mere mortals in awe of its bizarre creations. Continue being extraordinary, Socotra. I wouldn't have you any other way. Number 4. Sable Island, Canada As one Canadian to another, we are heading towards Sable Island, which is often referred to as the Graveyard of the Atlantic. With over 350 shipwrecks documented in the surrounding waters, this nickname seems justified. The perilous sandbanks and turbulent weather in this area have been the cause of many ships meeting their end. 
It is certainly not the idyllic island paradise one would envision. However, there is an intriguing twist to this story. Sable Island is also the dwelling place of a population of untamed horses known as the Sable Island Horse. With approximately 400 individuals, they have freely roamed the land for many centuries. Introduced in the 18th century, these horses have adapted to the harsh island conditions and have become a symbol of resilience and freedom. That's what I consider true horsepower. Besides the horses, the island is also a sanctuary for a large colony of gray seals and various bird species, creating a unique haven for wildlife. Whether it is the haunting echoes of maritime tragedy or witnessing the wild horses galloping along the shoreline, Sable Island is a destination of stark contrasts and unspoiled beauty. Number 5. The Island of the Dolls, Mexico If you found the Moai sculptures creepy, be prepared for an even more unsettling destination. We're now heading to the infamous Island of the Dolls in Mexico, which could easily be a setting from a Stephen King novel. The story behind this eerie place involves its only inhabitant, Don Julian Santana, who came across the lifeless body of a young girl drowned in the canal. Close to the body, he discovered a doll, presumably belonging to the girl. To honor her and ease her spirit, he started hanging the doll on a tree. Over the next half a century, Santana continued this eerie tradition, collecting dolls he found in the trash or traded for his own produce. Some dolls were displayed in their entirety, while others only had parts, with empty eye sockets and decaying bodies, adding to the unsettling atmosphere of the island. The island gives off a vibe similar to a plastic version of The Walking Dead. Locals believe that the dolls have been possessed by the spirits of deceased girls and that they whisper to each other during the night. These chilling whispers, not the exhilarating roars of a concert crowd, will make your hair stand on end. Number 6. North Sentinel Island, India Let's take a break from discussing supernatural phenomena and shift our focus to North Sentinel Island, which is situated in the Bay of Bengal. Unlike our previous destinations, the intrigue of this island lies not in any paranormal occurrences, but in its inhabitants, the Sentinelese tribe. This tribe has deliberately separated themselves from the rest of civilization for countless years without any contact with modern society. They have made it quite clear that they have no interest in engaging with the outside world, often responding to intruders with a barrage of arrows. Consequently, it's probably not a good idea to plan your next vacation there. Unfortunately, very little is known about their language, social structure, or way of life. Researchers estimate that the tribe consists of anywhere between 40 to 500 individuals, but this is mostly speculation. It's as if they communicate in an entirely unfamiliar language, as far as we can determine. This self-imposed isolation has shielded them from modern diseases and allowed them to preserve their way of life. However, it has also shrouded them in mystery. Just ponder the idea that in this era of widespread internet access and fast food, they continue to live as hunter-gatherers, unacquainted and uninterested in the world beyond their shores. It's almost like the ultimate form of unplugging from the digital world. Number 7. Snake Island, Brazil Get ready to pack your beach essentials like towels and sunscreen, my friends, because our next destination is not your typical beach getaway. We're headed to Snake Island, a small rocky outpost just off the coast of Brazil. Now you might wonder why it's called Snake Island. Well, that's because this island is far from ordinary. Imagine an island where there are one to five venomous snakes per square meter. That's right. And I'm talking about the notorious Golden Lancehead Viper, a snake so venomous that its bite can actually dissolve human flesh. It's like something out of an Indiana Jones movie. The Brazilian government has wisely declared this island off-limits to the general public. Only scientists with special permission, or perhaps those with a death wish, are allowed to visit. In fact, there are quite a few horror stories circulating about unfortunate visitors meeting their end due to snake bites. So much for a relaxing vacation, right? Despite the danger it poses to humans, the isolation of Snake Island has pushed the Golden Lancehead Viper to the brink of extinction. Its venom, surprisingly enough, has shown potential for medical use. Who would have thought that a deadly venom could actually save lives? Once again, nature never fails to amaze us. Number 8. The Maldives, Indian Ocean Finally, 
we have found a destination that embodies the essence of a vacation rather than an expedition. Welcome to the Maldives, a collection of 26 atolls consisting of over 1,000 coral islands spread throughout the Indian Ocean. It offers everything you could possibly envision in a tropical paradise. Pristine waters, diverse marine life, breathtaking sandy beaches, and a consistently pleasant climate. However, there is a significant twist to this idyllic destination. The Maldives holds the title of being the world's lowest country, with an average ground level of only 1.5 meters above sea level. This means that with the rising sea levels caused by climate change, there is a genuine concern that it could become the modern-day equivalent of the lost city of Atlantis. Nevertheless, it is not all despair in this paradise. The Maldives is renowned for its luxurious resorts and overwater bungalows, and its isolation has helped preserve its unique cultural traditions. As a result, the Maldives boasts a fusion of South Asian influences that exude a distinct Maldivian identity. Whether you seek the warmth of the sun, the serenity of the sand, or the thrill of snorkeling, the Maldives guarantees an unforgettable island escape. Just remember to pack your sunscreen. Number 9. The Bermuda Triangle, North Atlantic Ocean Up next is the Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle. Although it's not technically an island, this notorious area located in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean is infamous for the mysterious disappearances of ships and planes. It is roughly bordered by Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. While I'm not implying that extraterrestrials are involved, it may be wise to approach this topic with an open mind. The Triangle's reputation as a hub of strange happenings and vanishings goes back to the time of Christopher Columbus, who reported encountering peculiar lights and compass abnormalities. It seems that GPS was not a feature on his Santa Maria. Moving forward to the 20th century, one of the most notorious incidents involves the vanishing of Flight 19 in 1945. Five planes from the United States Navy, carrying a total of 14 crew members, disappeared while on a training flight. Even the search plane sent to find them would subsequently vanish. Just imagine being part of the search team for that search team. There are various explanations for the Triangle's bizarre phenomena, including magnetic anomalies affecting navigation systems and changes in water density caused by gas hydrates. Of course, the popular theories involve everything from alien abductions to portals leading to other dimensions. And if you listen attentively, you might even faintly hear the theme song of the X-Files playing in the background, I Want to Believe. Number 10. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch Pacific Ocean. Now we will shift our focus to a more serious topic as our next destination is not a typical isolated island. Instead, it serves as a stark reminder of our own foolishness. Allow me to introduce the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, situated between Hawaii and California. However, don't be misled by its name. This is not a visually striking island constructed out of trash, awaiting the arrival of the cast of Mad Max. Instead, it is a murky accumulation of marine waste, primarily consisting of minuscule plastic fragments that have been caught in the ocean's currents. This creates a swirling mass of pollution that covers an area exceeding 1.6 million square kilometers. This site has become a horrifying symbol of our disposable culture. The plastic present here poses a threat to marine creatures, as they often mistake the debris for food, sometimes resulting in fatal consequences. For instance, sea turtles are particularly attracted to jellyfish, and just imagine how a floating plastic bag appears in the ocean. It is not solely a danger to marine life, it also carries another consequence. As plastic deteriorates, it releases harmful substances that can infiltrate the food chain ultimately reaching your plate in the form of a delectable sushi roll. So, bon app tit to all. Number 11. Palmyra Atoll, Pacific Ocean Now let's shift our focus to the sunny beaches of the Palmyra Atoll, a beautiful tropical paradise located deep in the Pacific Ocean. It is worth mentioning that you might want to keep your swimsuits ready as this beach getaway is far from ordinary. During World War II, the U.S. government turned this idyllic location into a naval air station with its own airstrip. However, after the war ended, it was mostly abandoned and left to the mercy of nature, only occasionally visited by explorers. 
What makes it even more intriguing is its sinister reputation, which stems from its alleged connection to a murder case in the 1970s, inspiring the book And the Sea Will Tell in the true crime genre. If the atoll could speak, it would surely have fascinating stories to share. Today, Palmyra Atoll serves as a national wildlife refuge and research station, making it off-limits to tourists. Scientists use it for studying climate change, conservation, and marine biology. Although it may not be the ideal vacation spot, it is certainly making significant contributions to the field of science. Number 12. Pavalia, Italy Welcome to Pavaglia, Italy, a place known for its eerie and unsettling history. Located in the Venetian Lagoon, this island has gained a reputation as one of the most haunted locations in Italy and possibly the world. In the 14th century, during the devastating bubonic plague, Pavalia served as a quarantine colony where the infected were brought to wait for death. It is rumored that the soil of the island, mixed with the ashes of the cremated bodies, formed a disturbing layer of sticky human remains, making it impossible to cultivate anything, even tomatoes. In the 20th century, the island was home to a mental hospital where a doctor allegedly conducted gruesome experiments on his patients. Legend has it that he eventually succumbed to the madness caused by the ghosts of his victims and jumped off the hospital tower. Today, the Italian government has prohibited access to the island, perhaps to prevent it from becoming a macabre picnic spot. However, those who have managed to visit claim to have heard haunting screams and moans, ensuring that no one would want to stay overnight. It seems like we are encountering one chilling location after another, moving from an island filled with haunted dolls to an island with a haunting history of the plague and the mentally ill. Number 13. The San Juan Islands it's time to put away your winter jackets and get ready to embark on an otherworldly adventure as we head to the San Juan Islands. This collection of islands tucked away in the northwest corner of Washington State may appear serene and charming, but upon closer inspection, you'll discover a world filled with peculiar and supernatural occurrences. From sightings of Bigfoot and encounters with black-eyed children to encounters with aliens and apparitions, the San Juan Islands seem to have it all. One particularly fascinating story involves Turnpoint Lighthouse on Stewart Island, where visitors have reported seeing the ghostly figure of a former lighthouse keeper. Quite the unsettling presence for those navigating the waters, don't you think? Additionally, the islands are home to Maury Island, which gained infamy for one of the earliest recorded UFO sightings in the United States. In 1947, a man claimed to have witnessed six donut-shaped objects in the sky, one of which emitted a molten-like substance that damaged his boat and tragically killed his dog. Now that's a truly extraordinary tale, wouldn't you say? Number 14, Devon Island, Canada. Get ready because we're taking a quick break at Devon Island in Canada. This place, situated in the Arctic Circle, holds the title of being the largest uninhabited island globally. Moreover, it is remarkably similar to Mars, making it the nearest you can get to the Red Planet while still on Earth. It's quite surprising to find ourselves exploring space in this island-hopping adventure. Devon Island's desolate rocky terrain and freezing temperatures make it an ideal testing ground for NASA's Mars rovers and research missions. Despite its inhospitable nature, life manages to thrive here with the presence of muskox, polar bears, and various bird species. Additionally, there is an eerie glacier called the Haunted Glacier. But whether it is truly haunted by polar ghost spirit bears is left to our imagination. Number 15. Navarino Island, Chile. We are now going to the southernmost part of South America, where a lesser-known place exists on world maps. Let me introduce you to Navarino Island in Chile, which is filled with beautiful forests and impressive mountain ranges. Interestingly, it is also home to beavers that were brought from Canada in the 1940s for fur farming. These hard-working rodents have adapted well to the island and have been busy constructing dams, completely transforming the landscape. However, not everyone is pleased with their engineering accomplishments, as they have caused significant environmental changes and introduced challenges to the local ecosystem. Navarino Island is also where you can find Puerto Williams, claiming the title of the world's southernmost town. The town offers a unique mix of indigenous culture, rugged wilderness, and a touch of urban living. 
For those seeking an adventurous experience, there is the renowned Dientes de Navarino trek. This challenging trail winds through jagged peaks that resemble teeth, hence its name. The trek rewards hikers with breathtaking views of the Beagle Channel and the Darwin Range, making the hard work and effort worthwhile. Number 16. Skellig Michael, Ireland. We're currently heading to the Emerald Isle, not just for a pint of Guinness, although that certainly sounds tempting. Our destination is Skellig Michael, a rugged island that protrudes from the Atlantic Ocean near County Kerry. The first notable feature of this island is its harsh and stony landscape. Strangely enough, the second noteworthy aspect is a collection of stone huts, shaped like beehives, clinging perilously to the cliffs. These huts were constructed by Christian monks between the 6th and 8th centuries, who sought seclusion for their prayers and reflection. Surprisingly, these huts, built without any mortar, have endured the test of time, bravely withstanding the elements for many centuries. It is quite astonishing to think that monks possessed such exceptional building skills. More recently, the island gained fame as a filming location for Star Wars. Skellig Michael served as Luke Skywalker's hideaway in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Thus, it is not only a historical wonder, but also a symbol of popular culture. Now, whether you have a passion for history, a love for nature, or are a fan of Star Wars, Skellig Michael offers something for everyone. It truly embodies diversity in its offerings. Number 17. Easter Island, Chile Have you ever heard of an island called Easter Island, which is like a gathering of stone-faced spectators who silently observe the world? Situated in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, this small piece of land is part of Chile. It is famous for its almost 900 huge stone statues known as Moai, which are not like your typical garden gnomes. These towering stone figures are around 13 feet tall and weigh about 14 tons each. They all have a similar expression, a mix of a frown and an unreadable stare, as if they have known an ancient secret for centuries and have chosen not to reveal it. The creation, transportation, and purpose of these statues remain a mystery. How did the Rapa Nui people, with limited tools and without the use of wheels, manage to make and move these enormous sculptures? And what were their intentions? Some theories suggest that a complex system involving ropes, ramps, and human strength was used to transport the statues, while others propose that teams of people slowly rocked the statues back and forth in a process that took a long time. Even today, the truth about these statues remains elusive, adding to the enigma of the island. Another mysterious aspect is the Rongo Rongo script, a unique system of symbols found on various artifacts, which has yet to be deciphered. It is similar to the look on your cat's face when you attempt to dress her in a cute Christmas sweater. Easter Island serves as an open-air museum, shrouded in mystery and a touch of creepiness. But it is also a peaceful and captivating place. The silent stone figures continue to stand vigil, keeping their secrets close. So, what do you think they are trying to convey? Number 18, the Marshall Islands Pacific Ocean. What are your thoughts on the captivating Marshall Islands with its collection of over 1,000 islands and islets in the Pacific? It boasts crystal-clear lagoons, vibrant coral reefs, and a unique Micronesian culture, making it a paradise. However, the islands have a haunting past, as they were the site of 67 nuclear tests conducted by the United States from 1946 to 1958. The impact of these tests can still be observed today particularly in the concrete dome on Rune Island, aptly named the tomb, where nuclear waste is contained. Despite these challenges, the resilient Marshallese people continue to uphold their rich culture and traditions. Yet, time is of the essence as the islands face a dire threat from climate change. With their highest point at a mere 10 meters above sea level, these rising oceans pose a potential disaster for this cherished paradise. Have you had the opportunity to visit any of these incredible islands or experience their mysteries? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you in the next one. Number 19. The Coral Islands, Russia and Japan Our next destination is the Coral Islands, an archipelago located in the Chile Far East. These islands, spanning from Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula to Japan's Hokkaido, are extremely remote and rugged making them quite challenging to reach and pronounce correctly. 
The Kuril Islands are known for their volcanic and seismic activity, boasting a total of 40 volcanoes, with 18 of them currently active. As a result, the islands maintain a consistently warm temperature, eliminating the need for additional heating. However, it's not just natural phenomena that make the Kurils interesting. These islands have long been the center of a territorial dispute between Russia and Japan, each claiming ownership. It's like a high-risk game of monopoly, but with more diplomacy and fewer hotels. Despite the ongoing political tensions and the harsh climate, the islands provide a refuge for various wildlife, including a diverse range of seabirds, foxes, and an increasing population of sea otters. If you're fortunate, or maybe unfortunate depending on your perspective, you might even come across a brown bear. Therefore, whether you're seeking the excitement of exploring an active volcano or the intrigue of a geopolitical conflict, the Kuril Islands offer a captivating experience. Number 20. The Galapagos Islands in Ecuador Escaping from the eerie creatures, we now venture towards the Galapagos Islands. This group of islands near Ecuador is widely recognized as one of the most renowned clusters of islands globally. However, you might wonder why that is. Well, the answer lies in two words. Charles Darwin. In the 1830s, a young Darwin explored the islands, and his observations there greatly contributed to the development of his theory of natural selection. These islands are abundant with exclusive fauna that cannot be found anywhere else on the planet, such as marine iguanas, enormous tortoises, and flightless cormorants. It's like an endless biology lesson without any surprise quizzes. Yet what's peculiar about it all is this. How did these distinct species arrive on a set of volcanic islands located about 600 miles away from the mainland? Furthermore, how did they adapt and evolve into separate species to endure the harsh conditions? Today, the islands serve as an active laboratory for scientists, and the government strictly enforces regulations to preserve the unique ecosystem. So when visiting, remember, refrain from feeding, touching, or taking any animals home as souvenirs, not even the adorable ones. The Galapagos, a magical realm where the animals reign, raises more questions about life on Earth than it provides answers. It truly makes you ponder, doesn't it?